Oh fuck, it feels like forever since I last played this game. I'm looking forward to it. We just had this whole visual redesign. We've had this whole Cloud Kingdom experience. We're probably going to fight a dragon soon. It's going to be fucking rad. And I've had to be sat on a cliffhanger for the last week. Whew, welcome back, anyway. Here's, here's me playing the messenger. I hope it's a fun experience for you. It's going to be probably a frustrating one for me, because as I say, not played the game in a fucking week, and I'm, I think I'm about to walk into a boss fight, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> hey! Hello. Well, it's clouds, so we're definitely fighting the dragon. Clouds mean dragons. Or strife. One of the two. Which reminds me, I do need to play the, uh, the Final Fantasy VII. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, okay. All right. So he can destroy the floor, and we need to hit him before he hits the ground in order to stop him doing... Nope. Apparently he still does that. I, I rebuked him last time. I rebuffed him. I launched him in the opposite direction. But, uh, I guess... Not guaranteed. I forgot to get the health. Let me go get the health. I know this is this is only the second attempt, and I'm definitely going to lose it anyway. But you know, might as well come in with some semblance of strength behind me. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Hello. Right. So if he's doing that, I don't think I can stop him. But then on the next round, we can give him a slash to the face. Ooh. He ended up in the hole there. So he flies around. He does one of those. Takes up the cloud. Okay. Alright. Okay. We have fireballs. And they don't look particularly easy to dodge. I wonder if we can... We can kill projectiles with our sword, can't we? I think that's the thing. As I say, it's been like a week since I've touched this game. Forgive me for having old man brain and completely forgetting how it plays. I can hit him, like, all the time. I can hit him, like, all the time. I think this is this is what we do. I think. I want to try and encourage him to go straight down as much as possible when he... When he does that, we want to make him sort of plunge directly down, because then he takes up less clouds. Right? That's sensible? Oh boy, okay, this is going to be my first proper attempt. I was just feeling it out on the previous ones. This one's going to be good, though. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can smell it. I've got the stink of a good attempt on me. Straight down. Straight down. That's not straight down, is it? No, that's taking out a, an unhealthy percentage of the stage, honestly. If it wasn't for the, the stage destruction business, it probably wouldn't be too bad. But, uh, I mean... <laughs> I just tried to turn around. That's all I tried to do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I think about now is when I'll be cutting to my successful attempt, so... Enjoy this, this transitional slide. Okay, this time I've got him. This time I've got him. I smell victory. I taste victory. I feel victory through my pores. I'm absorbing it. It's in it's in the air. It's sustaining me. That hope of victory. I think this boss has this boss ever actually I don't think this boss has actually managed to kill me yet. He hasn't. <laughs> the fall, on the other hand. Has got me plenty of times. The boss himself? Nah, don't think he has. He's not dangerous, it's just his arena. He's like the Capra Demon of this game. That 
that was good. That was good. So important to take your time on that phase. Make sure you use your sh shuriken sparingly. It's my hot tip of the day. Oh, I've got no fucking terrain left. Oh, he's already gone to this phase though, so that's quite good of him. If he'd gone for a few more sweeps, I would have been fucked there. now, so we're into phase two. Which is basically just he goes faster and takes out more clouds, but, you know, phase two is a phase two. That's an awkward place to be. You wanna just... Yeah, you do. Cool. Super neat of you. Hey, got him! I thought I'd have to go at least one more phase. One more uh, fireball phase. He's not too bad, I just took a while to get into the, the swing at that one. He'd be quite good at the uh, old aerial bounce thing. Oh, you're blue now. Oh, oh that's adorable. Oh, this guy's got a voice. Okay. I've used all my, my token evil voices already, so he's just going to have to sound like something else. You can just, uh... I've been watching you a long time, messenger. Who are you anyway? Uh, so did the disguise fool you? It's a shame you freed my slave pet, but no matter. I'm now certain I can defeat you. Wait, another boss fight? Oh, it's this dude. He already had a voice. You. Wahaha, -ha. surprised. I'm Texan now. I think I was like a posh British guy earlier, but now this is my voice. Time to pay for what you did to my people. Bold words coming from such an unprepared adventurer. The underworld awaits you, messenger. At last the scroll will be ours. Watch your step now. Well, that's cheating. And I definitely am not going to survive that, because I, I fell through those clouds a lot while fighting that dragon, and it's definitely certain death. Oh wait, no it's not. To think I could have just, uh... I could have just fallen through the clouds the whole time, and I would have gone on to the next stage. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, that's, these are just... These are okay. We fought all these before. I like the uh, new higher res uh, pixel art of the Turtle Boys though. They look cool. The Mud Men look very similar. Oh, I didn't realise these were actual things I had to climb. I thought they, <laughs> thought they were background. Silly me. I've seen those before. I've never not really had to deal with them. They, they tend to just do their own thing a lot. I'm going to regret saying this, but this area doesn't seem... Okay, rising and falling lava, maybe it does seem that bad. Hello, my friend. I've kind of forgotten your voice because it's been a week, but we're going to give it a go. Need anything? Something like that, right? That'll do. I want this, honestly, but I'm, I'm not good enough to get it. What do you want to chat about? Welcome to the lion's den. Oh, I don't see any lions. No, I meant... Ah, never mind. This heat is almost unbearable. Come on, I'm happy to avoid certain cliches, but to think we wouldn't have lava to end your epic quest is pushing it. Oh, end. I guess I am at the end if I'm in the underworld, right? I just need to kill Demon Boy and then his big demon daddy, and that's it. Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a guy visited by a succubus. Far from being that kind of demon, she offered him a unique chance to visit hell as a tourist. Very adventurous by nature, he jumped right into the portal. They arrived in a room where giant cauldrons boiled over bonfires. They contained people, where little demons with pikes... No, that is right. I just I just completely lost the cadence of the sentence. They contained people where little demons with pikes were sitting on the rim to push anyone who tried to escape back inside. 
Who's in that cauldron? The man asked his succubus tour guide. This one? That's where liars and cheaters end up, she explained. And this one over there, she continued, that's for people who hunt for sport. Aghast, the man noticed another cauldron, much bigger than the other ones and devoid of any demons sitting on its rim. Indeed, that one cauldron seemed so... seemed to self-regulate. People were pulling back in anyone who tried to escape. And who's this cauldron for, he asked. Curious to who would be so stubborn in their ideology, they would rather hurt themselves than rethink their worldview. Oh, that cauldron, the succubus mused. That's for people who think the order doesn't apply anymore when another line opens up at the market. The end. Oh, now you're just using the platform to vent. What is wrong with you? Are you that guy? Which guy? The guy who's fifth in line but rushes to be first when a new line opens up. Oh, right. Different timeline. Never mind. I mean, he's right. That is kind of annoying. It doesn't happen that often, because, I mean, how often does another line open up? But when it does, you're like, hey, dude, I, I was I was literally next, and now, now you're... Now, now you've gone and you... you oh, whatever, I'm British, I'm not going to argue. But I'm going to stare daggers into the back of your head. So, here we are. We're going to... We're going to die. <laughs> I saw that coming straight away. I wanted to make sure I got across in time. I guess I need to do a bit of this, don't I? Oh, 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 oh. It wasn't as bad as it looked, but it looked really bad. It looked really bad. I think this game is a lot of that, honestly. It makes you panic very well. It's very well designed in that way. That things are often very fucking doable, but look a lot more brutal than they actually are. It instills panic without being like too absurdly uncomfortably difficult, which is good. I mean, that's what you want, right? You play a video game to feel things, <laughs> even if the things you feel aren't like you know, narratively connecting to the story, if it's just like, the thrill of the game, that's still valid, right? Probably meant to go up there, wasn't I? I see what I need to do here. It's kind of rude, but again, not as bad as it looks. Running theme of the video game. That doesn't look like I should be able to fit in there. But I can. Rather theme, fa running theme of my life, that one. <laughs> I, I'm, I just mean because I'm tall. I just mean because I'm a tall boy. No, I don't mean anything about. Get your mind out the gutter. Disgusting individual you are. Is this going to come all the way? Yes it is, okay. I like the new, uh, the new bat sprites as well. I never like these things though. Nothing should have a face that folds in on itself when they close their mouth. How do they see where they're going? I guess they don't, they just hop. Oh, I see. They get angry when you when you when you hit them once. I guess that's that's understandable. I do too. That's a lie. If someone hit me, I'd just run away. <laughs> not I'm not a fighter. I'm a. Uh, I was gonna say I'm a lover, not a fighter, but that's not strictly true either. I'm a coward, not a fighter. <laughs> Moving on. Um, okay, that's gonna move when we get down there, but I guess we don't have much say in it. Assuming these uh, ceiling based lava drips are a bad time as well. Yeah. Yeah, is that how you're feeling? Alright. I feel like there should be something in the middle of there. 
They should have put some collectibles or something. Because I just proved it's very easy to just like sling yourself past it and not have to worry about it. But it's a pretty cool, nice, uh, challenge -y area if you had to collect things in the middle of it. That's my uh, hot game design tip of the day for, for these developers. If they feel like uh, making a director's cut of this video game, they should ask me to, to sort it out for them. I know what I'm doing. I've played games in the past. What the fuck? Stop! I don't even know why I came up here. I'm not entirely sure how safe it is to get back down. There we go. I'm gonna go do the other side as well. I don't know why. Genuinely don't know why I did that. Absolutely nothing for me. But it's done now. I think sometimes I just like to kill things, you know? What is that room? Also, don't take that quote out of context. <laughs> you know, sometimes I, I, I just like to kill things. Can you imagine that being like uh, the fucking yearbook quote or something of someone who went on to torture puppies? didn't notice the drips. I wasn't prepared for the drips. Okay, what are we looking at here? I think it's another one of those things that is nowhere near as bad as it appears. Let's see? Alright, another shop! I've gained literally no fucking time shards since last time I was here, but nope, nothing to chat about either. Okay, good. Just a save point then. Neat. Hey, lava's an instant death. Hey, did you know that? Did you know that lava's an instant death? Well, you do now. I see how this is. I see what you're doing. And yet, I still didn't even attempt to time it right. <laughs> this area suddenly got a lot harder, like just now. This this screen, specifically, is like a massive difficulty jump. There we go. That's sort of what I was trying to do, only with less wounding myself. Alright, is this lava gonna... It is, isn't it? It's clearly not gonna start until I make that first jump, but it's definitely gonna rise. I can feel it. Big, rapidly flowing vat of orange tango is gonna come straight for me. Fill me with its citrusy badness. Seriously, if you like tango, you're doing it wrong. Fanta is superior and Orangina is better than either. The lava isn't rising. The lava's definitely rising. It might be doing it slowly, but it's... it's Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cool. Neat. Best part about that is there isn't a save point. <laughs> After the, the absolute AIDS room. I really don't like this room. Fuck, I thought I'd be able to hit that one with that. I really did. That must have like been a fraction of a fraction of a second off. Please, give me that. At least admit I was close, right? Need to go like now and then... Nope, okay, that's wrong. I feel like I need to get hit by the first one in order to get across that. I might, I might just be being a big old fucking dum-dum. And I probably am. But... Oh, I'm kind of struggling with this jump. I guess I can do that, yeah. I guess that's sensible. That just seemed really messy when I could uh, just when I can just, you know, do it a considerably quicker way. Okay, so we're up against it here. Good to know. 
don't have time to wait for this dude to throw his poop. We just have to get, fucking go for it. Oh, really? Come on. Come on now, video game. Come on, cut me some slack. I'm not a bad guy when you get to know me. I deserve all the chances you can give me. Yeah, that's so much easier. <laughs> Making more of that than it needed to be. Okay. I do enjoy watching him scurry at world wars like that, like some fucking chipmunk on cocaine. It's great. Okay. There we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're good. Don't care. I'll just take the damage. Fuck, what a way to go. <clears throat> I was button mashing there, I 100% admit it. I was like, there's a million things on the screen, I got I got to hit one of them right. And for a while it worked. Once I got to that sort of height with this area, I was just so fucking desperate not to fail that I got a bit... I don't know, if not complacent, that's the opposite of the word I want. Frantic. Frantic's a word. There we go. There we go. I was still button mashing that time. I'm not going to pretend I changed up my strategy, it just worked by fluke. It's really annoying me that I don't really have the opportunity to try and stop that fucking bat from chasing me. Is this section really still going? Is this, is this really still... Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> and there's a save point. Thank you, game design Jesus. Okay, there's shit over there, which is probably going to be a bonus area. See if we can reach it. Of course I can. What do you take me for? Someone who can't reach things. It's not a green coin like I was expecting, but I will happily take it. Look at that, I'm actually making money for the first time in a fucking hot minute. Might finally get that last power up at some point. I do sort of feel like the game expects you to die a lot at this point. Because I mean I got all the early power ups really fucking quickly. And then the last sort of couple have taken me so long. And the fact that there aren't like a load more power ups that I could have got. Speaks volumes I think. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna leave. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I mean there's nothing here, is there? It looks like this that should be like a lift that takes you down in the middle there, but I don't think it is. I guess we'll have a quick look at it, but I don't think it's anything. I think it's a big fat nothing. Thanks for the shuriken. It's real nice of you. Yeah, this is this is this is this is just not a, a thing that is a thing. Might come back up that way at some point or something. I don't know. Let's just fucking go for this. Oh, nowhere near as bad as it looked. Stick to this side for now. Not deal with the poop monsters. Yeah! Look at me go! Fucking. Okay, we've reached the boss. We have successfully 
achieved the next uh, dangerous thing that's going to murder my face off repeatedly, so I can't wait. Looks like the Demon General is up next. Be careful out there, I hear he's pretty fast. Ah, well that doesn't really give me a lot to go on, except that he's a bit of a, a, bit of a Sonic. A bit of a go-fast fella. I guess we can take him as well today, right? We got time. We got time. Let's go for it. Nowhere left to run, demon. Why would I run? You stepped right into my trap. We'll see about that. Ah, ah, ah. We end this now, champion of the blue robes. Okay. Okay. Why are they giving me these bouncy business? Why are they giving me the bouncy business? Oh, I meant to hit him when he's on the ceiling. I meant to knock him off. Is that going to be... Okay. I see. So this is one of those, like, actual proper, proper fights. One of those proper boy fights. No gimmick. It's just be good. Which is, uh, honestly, my, my weak point. Let's just, uh, yeah. Let's just play cautiously here. Get hits on him when we can. Not try anything too flash. Fuck. Anything too flashy. Oh, he does have an opening there. Good to know. After he's done a few of these, he, uh, Staggers for a minute. That's good. That's good. We got some shit going down. What's? Oh, okay. Um. I meant to be fucking hitting him at this point, aren't I? All right. Okay. That's rough, but I don't know. I can get a feel for him. I think. See how it goes. The thing is, I don't think he has a great deal of HP. Like, I only need a few openings to really fuck him up. I get him to half health in, like, 20 seconds if I'm playing particularly aggressively. It's just... He's very good at fucking me up, too, is, is, the, is the big issue here. Good, uh, pretty good way of dealing with it, honestly, on my part. I think I'm finally getting some sort of pattern down for this phase. Killed me so many times. As soon as this phase speeds up, I am just lost. number when he's... Oh, got him. Sweet. That was unexpected. <laughs> oh, that wasn't even a proper commentary. That was just me moaning about how hard a boss he is. <laughs> but, hey, I got him. Impossible. I'm the fastest as ever been. Tell me how to end this curse or else. It's <laughs> a good snort noise, I thought. Is it that simple in your head, Ninja? All of this is bigger than you or me. I'm ending this. Your Demon King is next. Make no mistake, Messenger. None of us are leaving this place alive. If I can't have the scroll, then I shall be destroyed. And so shall it. Not just me, but also the scroll. Yeah? Oh, he's, he's doing a, a big old self-destruct. He's being a, doing a big kablamo. Look at it go. Thankfully it's not... Oh shit, I'm in control. 
I did not realise I was in control. This is, uh... Oh, I was meant to fall down then. That's good. Ah! Oh, neat. Ooh. Low skull. I got you, buddy! <laughs> That's the dragon's voice. Don't tell me otherwise. Thanks. I guess we're even now. Oh, yeah! What's your name? Manfred. What kind of name is that for a sky serpent? It's not my birth name, but I always wanted to be a butler. Okay. Well, you should dress for the job you want, and not the one you have, right? So? So call me Manfred. Alright, Manfred. What did you do before the demons mind controlled you, then? No time to explain, this is your big moment! Yeah? This is my big... we're just flying in silence. There's plenty of time to explain. <laughs> we're going somewhere though. Is this gonna be a, 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 a like flying level? Why is there a fucking dude with a gun? Why is there a space marine out here? What's this all about? Oh shit, what was this guy's voice? Oh, were you hoping for the western hero? No prophecies for your worm prepared to die. Oh, I did some shurikens. You, I see Barmathazel failed me once again. Your reign is over, despot. Ah, ha, 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 you think this is how it works? Know your place, ninja. Our curse is never ending, and your time is up. As for you, soldier, I can't wait for my minions to make short work of you. Who the fuck is this dude? Oh, that was amazing. You're the Western hero, right? No, I'm... Did I travel so far east that I made it back to my village from the west? Everything's so different. Did the Tower of Time really send me to the future? I guess this means, uh... Hey, I have an important task for you, I think. Pardon? I mean, take this scroll. You need to carry it across the world to the top of the highest mountain. Really? I'm 100% down to leave this outpost. Yes, a messenger is needed. A messenger? Godspeed. What? Just take the scroll. Okay. <laughs> what? And so your time as the messenger is up, and I'm very confused. Is it just a eternal, eternal loop? Is that what's going on here? I take the scroll somewhere, then I travel forward in time and bring the scroll to someone else who then takes it. That's kind of pointless, because, like, no one ever defeats the Demon King that way. The Demon King just gets to rampage, and we just keep travelling forward through time and passing a fucking piece of paper around. We're just, like, the most fucking dedicated delivery. Uh, employee in the world, and that, that, that's literally it. What do I do now? Well, you could take a few moments to appreciate and reveal that it was all just a loop. No way, I still want to be part of the adventure. Oh, we'll get right to that. What do you mean? I mean it's time. Time for what? For you to finally open the cabinet. Really? Yes, go ahead and open it. I... Hmm. This game's full of surprises. I just want to put that out there. I like the fucking pin-up girl version of the shopkeeper in the door. It's just some fucking robes. So it's just a closet for blue robes? Why, yes. What did it look like? Well, don't just stand there. Grab one your size. I think I hear someone coming. Get behind the counter. God damn it. 
So the shopkeeper was the fucking was the previous messenger. I'm. What is this game? What is this game doing to me? It's blagging my fucking head. Oh the <clears throat> oh <clears throat> ah ah the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Hey, I said the same. I mean, do I look like a shopkeeper? What? Anyway, here's the power-up that will let you charge your beam. Oh, there's upgrades too. Sweet. I like how he's acting like an actual player. That's 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 a nice touch. So thanks for the beam charger upgrade. You bet. You know, the way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why Ray Troid invented it decades ago. Who's Ray Troid? Just a follow-up to an earlier joke. I don't get it. Some will. Is this how the game ends? Do I just... Is this just a very long cutscene of me being a, a, a shopkeeper? Hey, is everything alright? <coughs> it's... It's kind of boring. I guess I'm okay. No, I mean, it's been a while since your messenger visited. Oh, I don't know. I didn't enter the shop so often myself. You're in the Tower of Time, remember? So? So it should automatically take you forward in time to the next important moment. Which is? Either your messenger enters the shop, or he dies. Oh. Did your messenger die? How would I know that? By using the scrying orb. If Quabble isn't sent within ten seconds, your messenger dies for good. And when were you planning on mentioning that? Oh no! Oh no no no! We need to fix this. Oh, is it we now? Come on! Now is not the time to argue. We have to look at this holistically. Look at this holistically? What does that even mean? It means I'm as lost as you are, but I still want to think I'm the smartest one here. I'll go fetch the scroll. Hold on. Be right back, I need to talk to the others. Okay, we have reached an agreement. You're the one that needs to finish this. Really? Yes, really. You weren't really fit to be a shopkeeper anyway. I'll leave the scroll here with your clothes. Come join us after you've changed. Right. And I guess I'm back in the game. That was an interesting uh, fucking detour there. Um, I don't know how much of this game's left at this point, but it seems like I do still have something to do, so uh, I guess we'll end it here, because I don't want this video to go on another fucking hour, so uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> There's no words, honestly. This, this is so fucking... Curveball -y. I'm I'm loving it. I'm fucking loving the plot of this game. I thought it was just going to be dumb, wacky, like, fourth wall breaking shit at, at the beginning, and it is, to be fair, but, like, this whole fucking loop and you becoming the shopkeeper and the... It's, it's an interesting little, little thought. It's an interesting little presentation. Yeah, we're going to pick this up next time, though, and uh, that's all I have to say on the matter. I don't know why I always, every time I try to sign off a video, right, you might have noticed this, every time I try and do it, I say blah 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 blah, and, and then I back myself into a, a, a verbal corner, where I then have to think of something interesting to add to the end of that sentence. It's a serious issue, it's a ser serious fucking issue. 
I need to I need to learn to stop it. But I never will. I never will. And uh Fuck me. See you guys around. <laughs>